Why is Washington broken? Why is Washington broken? Why do we have gridlock? Why do we need to drain the swamp? I said drain the swamp in November because Congress that starts C-O-N, Congress is a con. What, what is the most important thing to Congress right now? So we see the Library of Congress right there, the Supreme Court over there. What is the most important thing to Congress right now? Taking a recess for a whole month, six weeks, going on vacation, not getting the business of America done, not getting things done for America, but, but taking a vacation because it's all about re-election. It's all about raising money. It's all about campaign financing and fundraising. It, it is a con. It's all about special interests. It's all about lobbying. It's all about pork. Hypocritically, they say, oh, we're going to build back America. They're not building back America. They're breaking down America. They're breaking down America with their laws that are sin, with the immorality. Look, let me tell you something. As we look at the House and the Senate, as we look at the House and the Senate, they're breaking down America. They're not making America great again. They're breaking down America because they're incompetent. And all we have here is crookedness, cronyism, and corruption. Crookedness, cronyism, and corruption. What is the word of the Lord to America right now? What is God saying to the United States of America right now? Well, first of all, the Lord says, how can you love your neighbor while you're watching TV, watching videos, and watching movies? Jesus said, love your neighbor yourself. Furthermore, the Lord says, how can you love me? How can you love me, saith God, if you spend your time watching movies, watching TV, watching at videos, looking at filth? Our country today has become immoral. We're, we're obsessed with living together, shacking up, hooking up, premarital sex, pornography, masturbation. We have become <laughs> the perverse perversion of perverts. And I say it to Speaker Pelosi. I say it to McCarthy. I say it to McConnell. And I say it to Schumer. America needs to come back to morality. America needs to come back to the word of Almighty God or the judging hand of God is going to be on America. We need to put others first. We need to forget about being about profit and listen to the prophets of Almighty God. We need to be, forget about capitalism and materialism and being entrepreneurs and come back to the cross and come back to evangelism, edification, exhortation. People today, oh, you know, they reject the way I preach. They don't like my hellfire and brimstone gospel. They don't like my Pentecostal message. They don't like the Puritans and the pilgrims. They don't like the founders and the fathers and the framers that I preached about from Philadelphia and Baltimore. They don't want to hear that. They want the new gospel. They want the new way. But look, if you're going to endorse the new gospel and you're going to endorse the new way and say the old way is wrong, you're, you're basically saying that John Wesley was wrong. D.L. Moody was wrong. Smith Wigglesworth was wrong. Whitfield was wrong. The Cane Ridge Revival was wrong. The Azusa Street Revival was wrong. The Pentecostal Revival was wrong. You're going to throw out old school and old paths and the old-fashioned ways of God. You're going to throw out the Bible and rewrite the Bible. Throw out the Word of God. Throw out morality. Throw out decency, honor, courtesy, and respect to have a new way, a way that says don't judge, get along, just love everybody, just be tolerant and be inclusive.
and accepting and welcoming and affirming. But let me tell you something, that way leads to everlasting hell. That is the broad way, that is the broad way that leads to hell. But I'm preaching the narrow way that leads to heaven. America needs to come back, fall on her knees, fall on her knees and come back to the narrow way and get off Broadway and come back to the narrow way. Why do I live in Washington? To call America to repentance one more time. To call America to repentance one more time because there's a heaven to gain and there's a hell to shun. People don't want to preach about hell anymore. They don't want to preach about right and wrong. Most preachers won't say the word sin, wrath, judgment, repentance, hell. Oh, the new way, the new way, the new way. Well, the way of the progressives that control this hill, the way of the liberals and the socialists that control this hill will lead to hell. America's answer is not Capitol Hill. Government, Google has no answers. God has the answer. The Most High God, Elo Elohim, El Shaddai, God Almighty. Yahweh, Jehovah, the creator and possessor of heaven and earth. He has the answers. Our answer is not Capitol Hill. It's Calvary's Hill. America needs to come back to the gospel, come back to the cruel cross of Calvary. From Washington, D.C., from the U.S. Capitol, calling America to repentance. This is evangelist Mike Dunn. God bless you and amen. And remember, Jesus is still your answer. Amen. And amen.